Hi everyone, I am Namrata Nanshraj, working as an application engineer in electromagnetics department at LEAP Australia. Today I'm here to give you ANSYS 2019 R3 update for both Maxwell and HFSs. This is the overview of the updates what Maxwell and HFSs has in the recent release of ANSYS R3. In Maxwell, we have LITS wire modeling in transient solver, also inclusion of Granta material library. In HFS's updates, we have an inclusion of SBR creeping wave in HFS's SPR plus solver, integration of Emmet with an electronic desktop, and dynamic mesh operations for curved geometries. So let's now see what is the LITS wire modeling in Maxwell. So with the much of electronic industries focused on designing for high frequency and form factors that grow ever smaller, engineers increasingly design magnetic coils and windings to operate at a high frequency 82 megahertz range. So these high frequencies create stronger magnetic fields and tighter coupling with less copper that fits into smaller physical spaces. So the move to higher frequencies usually requires new chipsets, magnetic cores, and other components suited for those frequencies. As a result, new winding topologies have come into market. So one of them is the Litz wire modeling, which has become a preferred choice for HF magnetics due to its unique topology and construction. So what is this Litz wire? Litz wire is a special type of multi-strand wire or cable used to carry AC currents at radio frequencies. These types of wires are used for about 1 MHz and it's designed to reduce the skin effect and proximity effect losses in conductors. Effects including skin and proximity effect increases power loss in windings at high frequencies. Accurately analyzing eddy current laws is very important in design and optimization of power components. So this can be now modeled in ANSYS Maxwell transient solution type. The advantage would be that the solver will now take in additional ohmic losses due to proximity and skin effect into account in order to give the user the precise simulation results. So different types of LITS wires such as round, square, rectangles available along with AC stranded losses which is included in transient results. So next is the Granta material data for simulation. The Granta material library is now included in ANSYS electronic desktop, uh, which is a unified database across multiple solvers and ensures engineers are using the same material properties for multi-physics simulations. The unified database has about 700 plus materials, which includes properties for Maxwell's as well. Maxwell users also gets 500 plus records with BH curves and co laws for producer specific grades of magnetic material. So let's now move on to the HFS's 2019 R3 update. The first one is the SBR plus for creeping rays for radar cross section. Shooting and bouncing ray technology with simultaneous implementation of physical theory of diffraction uniform theory of diffraction, and creeping waves for simulating electrically large platforms that are hundreds of wavelengths and sizes. With the integration of SBR plus solver into ANSYS electronic desktop, the feature of using creeping waves for both simulation and visual ray tracing has been updated in this, in this release. Creeping wave physics in the SBR solution improves the accuracy for curved structures, which is the effect of surface waves that are beyond the field source illumination horizon, which will be important for determining radar cross section. So the next feature update is Emit, which is integrated within ANSYS electronic desktop. ANSYS Emit provides the complete simulation framework for RF scenario level modeling to predict, diagnose, and mitigate complex RFI effects. ANSYS Emit allows multiple transmitter and receiver system to be analyzed for coupling and any co-site interference. Emit provides a powerful workflow for RFI simulation, working along with ANSYS HFSs, Savant, and ANSYS RF option. 
So now this capability of image is available within the ANSYS electronic desktop GUI with the improved workflow and usability in terms of analysis based on radio pairs instead of system pairs, channel sampling settings in the radio configuration dialog, schematic ribbon improvements, and improved radio cho chooser dialog. So the next feature update is the dynamic surface resolution, which is applicable for MCAD models with curved geometries. Selecting the Use Dynamic Surface Resolution in the Initial Mesh Settings specifies the best practice mesh operation over the geometric models. The default mesh operations or user-defined mesh operations may or may not be replaced by optimized mesh operations with the model analysis. In general, large curve faces, curve faces with small gaps, or skewed cables get smoother curvature representation, while small curve faces such as fillets and small curve objects get relatively coarse triangulations to reduce overall mesh size. If you select the dynamic surface resolution, you can optionally use the slider bar to adjust the surface representation levels such as coarse, normal, or fine. This dynamic surface resolution mesh operation significantly improves the robustness while meshing models with curved objects. And it also supports the 3D volume mesh and surface mesh in all the products. These were the updates that ANSYS had for 2019 R3 for both ANSYS Maxwell and ANSYS HFSs respectively. Thank you.